What's up guys? It's another beautiful day in Portland and today I wanted to tell you a little story about me because I realized that a lot of you, especially the newcomers to my page, don't really know or even see a lot of me. I rarely post photos of myself and or videos which I'm trying to be better at. I'm trying to get in front of the camera instead of behind the camera a little more often so you can get an idea of me and who I am and what I'm about. So for any of you who are interested, I don't know why you would be, but anyone who is interested in me and my story, I thought I would tell you that as quickly as I can right now. Today, Junior! So I'm gonna go back to 2010, all right? 2010 is when I started Kick-Ass Designs. I started my logo design company. And I now have a team of designers that work for me, but it wasn't always that way. In 2010, I started my company and I, I worked that company while I worked other jobs. I worked at McMinimins as a waiter. People can get a cheeseburger anywhere, okay? They come to tchotchkes for the atmosphere and the attitude. For about five years before that, before 2010, I worked for a place that some of you might remember called Blockbuster. I worked there for many years. Imagine the perfect video store. It would have a great selection, right? Right, over 10,000 videos. Three evening rentals, so no rush, no hassle. Fast checkout, 24 hour quick drop return, open late every night. Well, the perfect video store. Welcome to Blockbuster Video. And I missed that job. That was probably my favorite job I've ever had, <laughs> besides photography. But fast forward to 2010, I'm working as a waiter and I have my side gig trying to start this business as, you know, uh, doing logo design. And if you ever see my name, Kick-Ass Designs, and wonder why, what's with the, the Kick-Ass Designs, what does that have to do with photography, that is why, okay? I started my Instagram in 2010 as Kick-Ass Designs for logo design. And although I don't promote my logos anymore so much on Instagram, I keep the name because so many people, when they think of me, they think Kick-Ass Designs or vice versa. I'm Kick-Ass. And so I do plan on phasing that out and just going to Lance Reese at some point, but I don't know that I'm ready for that now. Let me know your thoughts on that, by the way. Should I keep the name? Should I just go to Lance Reese on Instagram? Is it confusing? Let me know. Anyways, so I'm I'm working those. I, eventually I leave McMinimins. No, yeah, you know, everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit. And I start working for LA Fitness. We understand that ugliness and fatness are genetic disorders, much like baldness or necrophilia. And it's only your fault if you don't hate yourself enough to do something about it. In Portland. That's when I moved to Portland. I'm working at LA Fitness. I'm doing the kick-ass designs. Well, I get fired from LA Fitness. Here's how it went down. You walked in, uh, you're fired. All right, and thanks for being so mature about this and professional. Well, I was very professional. You're fired. And from that point, I have to make a pivotal choice. Do I want to work another nine to five job while I'm trying to grow kick-ass designs or do I go out on my own and I'm just an entrepreneur. And so I decided to just become an entrepreneur and only specifically focus all my energy on kick-ass designs, which I did and I grew that to the point where it gave me the time freedom to experience and focus on the things that I really wanted in life, which at that time was hiking. I was really into traveling and hiking. And so I started hiking almost daily and I bought a drone, I took it out, I made some videos. So 
my photos were good, not great, but they were good enough to be noticed by my friend who owned That Oregon Life, which is a online blog all about Oregon, the things to do, see, and experience in Oregon. And he said, hey man, I'd love to have you take some photos for the blog. And I said, great. And he said, but you'll need to use a real camera, not your cell phone. Now this was about two years ago. And so I said, all right, well, I don't have a camera. And he said, well, you can borrow mine, which at that time was a Nikon D12, I believe. Uh, and that was my first experience with a real camera. So I had the camera and I went on Facebook and I said, hey, someone show me how to use a camera. I don't know how to use this thing. And so I had two or three of my friends via Facebook hit me up and say, hey, I'll take you out. I'll show you how to use the camera. Let's go do this. And so I did. And it just so happens that one of those guys happened to be a portrait photographer. So he only shot with people and models. And so I learned how to use a camera, essentially from a portrait photographer. So I learned how to use the camera while shooting with people instead of what I was shooting with my phone, landscapes. And so I did go out and I got a few photos of that camera of landscapes. Uh, for that Oregon life. Nothing great, but this whole world of shooting portraits really intrigued me. Now, I was never interested in shooting with people. I just loved to do the landscapes. But after like a week of shooting with people, I was hooked and I wanted to only shoot with people and I wasn't really interested in landscapes anymore. And so, again, this was, this was about two years ago where I started developing my skills with photography and I have to stress that I'm 32 and at 30 I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life okay I started kick-ass designs in 2010 but I never felt that that was really my calling I never really felt like that that was why I was here that's what I was put on this earth to do what what would you say you do here um, and so I never really realized that until about a year or two ago. Uh, so photography, essentially, what I'm saying is, was never in the plans for me, okay? I never really planned to become a photographer. It just kind of happened, like the best things in life, as we all know. It just kind of happened, and it's consumed my life in the best way possible, and I know without a doubt that is what I'm here to do. And so I'm gonna do it as long as I can. I appreciate all of your love and support and I wanted to share just a little bit of my story with you guys, just to give you an idea of who I am and why I started photography, how I got to where I am today, literally shooting every single day for two years has put me where I am today.